Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another DIY dollar store video. This one will be spring themed and we will be using these spring treat bags for all three DIYs. So let's get started. I am super excited about this video. We are starting with a spring sign and you will need this happy Easter sign that I picked up from the Dollar Tree or actually any other sign that they have there. The treat bags, of course. You're going to need some paint, some twine, these little mini clothes pick, clothes pins, as well as something to paint with and some florals, which you're going to see I ended up not doing the florals. I was originally thinking more of like a 3D effect, but I'm not going to be doing it and some glue. And to begin, I am just going to remove the hanging twine and I'm going to paint the entire back side of the sign white. So I did a very thin coat, just one single layer of the paint, and I really like this effect of being able to see through to the brown because it kind of gives it a natural wood look. Next, I'm gonna go in with a small paintbrush and this taupe colored paint, and I'm going to make some faux lines to make it look like they're boards of wood. I'm also gonna take a thicker brush and I'm gonna just take a little bit of paint and kind of brush it around to kind of also give it a wood look. Um, now this is kind of something you just play with until you get as much paint on it as you like for your piece. Now I went in with a little bit of the white mixed with the taupe just to kind of lighten the darkness of the lines. Now this is where the treat bags come in. I went through and just cut out the florals and bird and the butterflies that I wanted to put on my sign and I also wanted to make sure to cover up the holes that were originally from the hanging of the sign and I just took a little bit of school glue and mixed a tiny bit of water in it and I decoupaged it onto the sign. It kind of gives it almost my actually my my daughter walked in and was like oh my goodness mom did you hand paint that? Not that I could ever make it look that good, but that's the whole point is trying to make it look like it was painted. Now that the glue is dry, I'm just gonna take some twine and I'm going to wrap it around the um, board so that I can put the mini little clothespins on it so that I can hang pictures or whatever floats my fancy, but it's so that you can hang things on it. And, um, and I'm just gonna attach it with hot glue.
I'm not planning on hanging this. I'm actually planning on just setting it on a table or a shelf and leaning it against the wall. But if you were going to hang it, you'd want it some hot glue and make a little hanger with it. Now for the next DIY we're going to make some floral eggs and this is a super simple thing. It can just be a little bit time consuming. Um, so this is something you want to do when you're watching your favorite TV show or watching YouTube. All I'm doing is taking some Elmer's glue onto the wooden egg. These wooden eggs I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot, um, but you could use plastic eggs from the Dollar Tree. Even their styrofoam eggs, this would work fine. And I'm just going to wrap the treat bag around it, trim it, and then I'm going to cut slits in the top so that I can easily fold down all of the edges so that it wraps nicely on the ends. Now for my final DIY, I'm going to be making a spring picture. I picked up this Our Nest is Best sign from the Dollar Tree. It's in their picture section. And I'm just going to remove the backing and um, the actual picture from inside. Now I noticed that you really can't take the glass out, so painting the frame I had to be a little bit careful. And I'm just going to rip off this Our Nest is Best part and I'm going to paint it. And I'm just using regular white craft paint or chalk paint would work well. And I did give it like three coats of paint because I really wanted to cover up the writing on this board. I'm also going to paint the frame with the same white paint, however I'm going to do two very thin coats of paint because I want some of the brown from the frame to show through. It gives it more of a rustic look and weathered and older kind of. I didn't want it to be very clean, crisp white. Once again, I cut out a piece of the treat bag that I wanted to use for this picture. And I am just going to do the same thing I did on the first one. I took a little bit of glue, a little bit of water, mixed it together, and I'm just going to um, decoupage it onto the white circle. Now I'm just going to reassemble this picture by hot gluing the circle back into the middle of the wreath and then I'm going to put it back in the frame. Now if you did get a little bit of paint on the glass it's really easy just to scrape it off with your fingernail. 
and um, so once it's all assembled I'm super excited to show you guys how all three look together. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I gave you some ideas for some simple spring DIYs. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe so that you get new videos every week full of DIY and decor inspiration. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please check out these other spring DIY videos I have for you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!